Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Gods of Gravity Overview. First release of the year to commence, I don't know which number we're gonna end up with. Year after year we have more and more stuff coming out but I feel like they are well paced. Unlike in 2021 when everything was literally just dropped in one moment. I think this game was teased at the last Upload VR showcase. Nowadays those live streams are more engaging and actually show more stuff coming up rather than metas. Seems like I already checked the box about shitting on this company. Company. Let's start 2023. <laughs> so Gods of Gravity is a social arcade RTS game where you get to control planets with your fleet of ships, throw them around Star Arena, take over other systems and be the last man standing. Besides Eternal Starlight that puts you in a similar situation, it seems like we didn't have anything of this kind on the store. My instant concern watching the trailer was that I thought it's gonna be full on multiplayer game but it seems like there is a single player campaign. It kinda feels like a Cosmos MOBA if that makes sense. You get to control points, you unlock new characters with some moves, customize multiple aspects of the game like it seems like it. Even though the art style and the design seems rather simplistic, somehow it still feels polished so all in all this might not be a bad release. Let's go fight in space! So for some reason just last minute before the release date I got a full access to the game because primarily this thing is like a free application but then some things are like blocked behind the paywall. It doesn't really change much for the overview because the content that is like paid is not gonna be the main focus of this video nor it introduces some new gameplay mechanics so it's pretty much like nothing happened. We're gonna do the tutorial per usual. Let's walk through the basics. Hey, no one's talking. This is your home base. Protected at call. Okay, I'm not reading. <laughs> so you're a god in space, of course. Turrets defend plants and moons. Your gravity wand lets you move ships around. Press and hold the trigger to grab them. Okay. Now from sun to this moon. Simple as that. Moons contain resources for building ships. So this is like an energy. You can teleport around. I would much rather just move. Just point downward. Ah, I guess this will make sense in multiplayer or like very fast paced action. War homes are another way to send ships to planets. Oh, do I spend something to do it? You'll need to be on the front lines to command your fleet. Ships can be made on planets you own. Can I just send them? in any direction. The minimap shows who controls what planets. Where? So I can do it to anything, literally. Bye. Move 25 ships there. I mean, they will do it automatically. So warm horse, I need to remember. It's 
just like magnets. Blue T one. Okay, that was pretty fast. <laughs> so we have quick start campaign, multiplayers, thirteen people playing. Let's do the campaign first and then if we'll have time some multiplayer. So what do I do? <laughs> oh, there's someone, wait. Your fleet at capacity. You cannot produce more ships. I'm gonna be like focused on what I'm doing. There's Earth. Aren't those mine ships? <laughs> what are they doing? I mean, it's not necessarily my type of gameplay. Like, I think I get it. There's much more complexity going into it. Like I'm doing something, but I'm not necessarily sure what. It works. I guess it's time to just expand. I don't know, <laughs> like it's simple, but still somehow confusing. I don't know. It's essentially the faster one just wins with capturing the energy. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my fleet? Okay, they're just hanging around. Okay, now it works. He's sleeping. Why? Okay. They will find their way eventually. I can't like spin here. Did I block something? Oh well. So we have voice chats. What's this? God info. God of production reinforcements. How do I activate it?
Okay. Let's just finish it. Straight to the plant. has been eliminated. Blue team won. Okay. So, let's do the multiplayer, I guess. Yeah. I've been trying to work with multiplayer for like 10 minutes now, <laughs> but I have to like judge it on the experience I got so far. There's a lot of content, meaning that I have to just read everything and then the informations and just strategies. Like it's not something to play instantly and then you know everything. Like that's not how it works. Like we have a god of production. There are abilities that I don't think was necessarily explained in the tutorial. But anyhow, this game seems to be around for quite a while. Just looking at the high list of founders. <laughs> it's rather simple at the beginning. You need to really focus and take all the information the game gives you because then you'll just get confused what's going on. But like the concept is definitely straightforward. You just have a fleet of ships you send to the other planets, moons provide energy for them and then just control the arena. I don't think it's necessarily something for me and it's just the LTS style of it. And I can tell just perusing the rooms that you didn't get to see. It was built with mostly thinking about the multiplayer aspect and connecting other people, fight with each other, like that kind of stuff. You get a lot of stuff for free and then the other ones are like an addition if you actually want to expand your potential with this game. But as it is, it's pretty cool. 